friends are doing great out there. If you're friends like this, please like and subscribe. See what's going on with you and the big one. Getting straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. King of Wands. Nice. Really outshining those around you. <laughs> That's really what I'm seeing. Like, you're taking all this action, but I really see you really putting all this energy out there and really shining. Being very authoritative about the situation, too, and really having the control. Um, almost feels like either you're getting control back over a situation or just feeling like you're very um, in a very controlled atmosphere, meaning I'm in control of everything that's going on around me. Um, getting out there. Yep, there it is. Control. Definitely in control mode. So anything that was giving you a hard time before, you're saying, I'm in control of the situation. They're not going to have, no one's going to have any control at this point. Okay, getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, recent past, and the near future. Figuring out why you feel so strong, right, courageous. Control of my own life with the seven of pentacles. I'm really patiently planning. It feels like you're taking the steps towards your own comfort zone of what you really want in life. In the recent past, you have the goals, going after my own goals, my own dreams with the nine of cups coming out in the near future. Wow. So definitely having the self-satisfaction over here of how you're keeping the control. Now we can kind of see why there's so much control. It's the control of, of my life, my goals, my dream, and where I want to be. Very nice. So getting straight over here to the star over here, it's like you're very inspired about what you want, really knowing where you want to be and really taking the control to get there. There's a lot of healing that also went on during this process. You know, getting past anything that was burdening you. Yeah, really moving past that. Moving in new directions of anything that is overwhelming you. If you had a person that was around you that was super overwhelming, um, or felt like maybe that energy was controlling your life, you have gotten rid of that. Um, and this is where you feel like you really have gained control of your own life again, your own mind, your own everything, um, which is very beautiful because that means you have really have stepped into a place um, that you need to be taking the risk and a leap of faith to get to this new area of your life. So it could have been a lot that had went on um, within the past. It could have been a long time ago. It could have been a month ago. However it is, take it how it, how it resonates, but it's been a long time. It feels like a long time, right? It does. It feels like a long time um, moving away from this energy. And so you have traveled far. You have taken great risks, great leaps of faith to get to the healing that you have done to move past the situation. So getting over here to the Seven of Pentacles, you have patiently planned your way to the top, really trying to get focused on these dreams that you have, really feeling inspired and taking, like I said, the steps toward, uh, forward for your own happiness, your own joy, new cycles of comfort in a place where you feel comfortable. Feeling the vitality coming back, feeling alive again. Wow. That's really why you have the King of Wands coming out. Is this brand new desire, vitality, and intention to get to where you really want to be. Not having anything step on you. Really learning and focusing. Some of you might be in school and you're really learning, um, literally, education um, to get yourself into a great place, maybe for your kids, for your you know, for your future. For others of you, you, you're just taking all the steps and understanding and could be just learning the baby steps of how to get to this place that you want to be. Finding the, yeah, the moderation. And there still could be a little bit of a healing process still involved within the situation and each small step just brings you closer and closer to this sun, to this, you know, this overall joy and happiness. There could have been a lot of anxieties from the past that you still might be trying to get away from. 
but it feels like for the overall, most of the anxieties have left, right? They're not really there anymore. As you're in this healing process, you're just moderately, beautifully, harmoniously moving forward. Not feeling as vulnerable as you did before. Feels like with the temperance card sitting next to the page of swords, it's like you made me feel like I was in this vulnerable spot. And I'm not allowing them to make me feel vulnerable anymore because I have the control. I'm in control. So I have made the leap of faith, right, from the vulnerabilities, from what's overwhelming me, from the struggle. And so as soon as you left, that was it. As soon as you took that leap of faith, there it is. So in the present, you're just continuing down this beautiful path. And a lot of you might be single. You don't have to be single, but some of you are single. You feel very self-assured. You know that the grass that you're in right now is in a controlled area that you keep maintained. You know what I'm saying? You manicure your own lifestyle, not having to deal with anybody else telling you what to do or trying to take control away from you. So this landscape is what you've built. This is a place you built for yourself, for your own harmony, your children's harmony. A place that feels more safe. It's your safe zone. And by keeping it in this controlled area, you know what's going on. Waiting for your ships to come in. So I just feel like a lot of you are still working, um, especially with it coming sideways over here next to the page of swords. You're still patiently planning and really... Um, waiting for you, these ships to come in. You might have a lot of opportunities that are trying to unfold at this time. You're trying to lift them off the ground and bring them in. If you're in school, you're just waiting for that um, day of celebration when you graduate, right? And just really focused on where you're going at this time. And it's very present now. Um, there was um, maybe some future in the past to get you to the present, but right now it feels like you're in a very present moment. Um, just really living life in the present, trying to deal with the present situation, not so worried about the future um, because there's so much going on in the present. <laughs> really don't have time to really be dwelling too much in the future. Um, yeah. With the Knight of Cups, you could have this beautiful um, Scorpio Cancer or Pisces coming back, offering you cups of love. Um, you know, it could be around the Thanksgiving time. Um, so it could be a new love situation. For others of you, it could just be this new opportunity. Um, that you're being offered. It could be a new job. It could also be an apology from someone um, as well. But I do see this potential for some kind of offering coming through that is um, more heartfelt than anything. If you know that you're looking for a job, you could have this, this uh, water sign coming in. And it's just the way that maybe they feel very compassionate. You can kind of feel the energy of them. I mean, you could say, wow, uh, you're, you're a little compassionate about hiring people right? Maybe they really need people, um, you know, at the time and age. Um, but there is this beautiful potential coming through. Okay. And the Nine of Cups over here, it feels like you did get your cups. And I, I do believe that the Nine of Cups had a lot to do with getting the Nine of Cups because it's actually offering you a place that you're, you're feeling very compassionate about, right? It's something that you're saying, I want that whether it's love, however it is, an apology, however, um, a job. But the Nine of Cups is saying that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, and I love this feeling. I'm doing things for myself. Maybe you felt like you hadn't done anything for yourself in a long time, and now you're taking the initiative to feel like, wow, you know, maybe you've got enough money to buy yourself those new shoes that you wanted, and you're saying, wow, now I get new shoes. Taking care of yourself could even make yourself even more of the Nine of Pentacles than before. Okay. And this is the new cycle coming in with the new world. So it does feel like whatever was completed is completely out of that energy as well. So anything that was keeping those anxieties a little bit still there are now completely washed away. So I don't really feel like you're really thinking about those things as much anymore. Um, you're really finding more responsibilities and really kind of cracking open the uh, box over here for more happiness, more celebration, more um, joy 
even maybe more time with your friends, your family, things of this nature, finding that you can have these things, uh, not, you know, overworking. And the Page of Wands, which is talking about having, you having a traveled the road that you want, right? And really moving towards that path. So you're even more on a more path than you had been before. And it's the one that you've been daydreaming about this whole time, really thinking about this is where I want to be. So there could be a lot of daydreaming as well as you continue to move on this path, right? So as you continue to keep going, so you just become the emperor. So you're just in more control than you were, you know, as before, because the control card is the emperor card. So it's just showing you're even becoming more stable, more in control, but continuing to hold that that control even in the near future. So you're not going to let go of that because that's what's really keeping you stable and keeping you moving where you need to be moving, right? So really keeping that ball there, okay? And let's get your daily inspiration. Daily inspiration card is make clear, calm, thinking your goal. So just making sure that you're keeping yourself in temperance mode the whole time as you're keeping the beautiful control over your life and the situation. Okay, until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.